Hello, welcome to this Excel video tutorial. I'm Bella David, this is my name. In this video, I'm going to show you a new feature called the Power Query Data Type. Now, this feature is currently available in Excel for Microsoft 365, Enterprise 3, and 5. Now, the feature allows us to easily analyze our voluminous data and organize them in such a way that we can easily consume them in Excel. So let's see how to use this new Power Query data types. Now, I have this data stored in text and it's currently located in my picture. So we have the, the data here, this data. So what I'm going to do is return back to Excel and click on the data tab under the gate and transform data group. I click on from table forward slash CSV. Then I browse through the path so i double click on this is zero and that will create an intermediate dialog box where we can actually see the data so we have the data ready so the delimiter is tab and everything is looking fine so all i need to do is click on the transform data and that will automatically open the power query editor so we have the data ready in the Power Query Editor. So everything is fine. So we've established a connection to this text in a file. And we can actually see the name of our data, this data. Now what I'm going to do to create my data type is to select all these columns. So we have the first one, which is date. So when I scroll to the right, we have the total. So on my keyboard, I'm going to hold down the Shift key and select the total column so i've selected all the columns next i'm going to click on transform tab and in the structured column to the far right we have this new create data type so i click on that and that will collapse each of these columns into one after we specify how our, our data will be displayed so we have this create that type intermediate dialog box and of course, we are interested in the basic. So we have the data type name. You can actually rename it and just make it, you know, sales records. And we have the opportunity to choose which column to display. We have the display column. So let me just select sales manager. And finally, I click on OK. Boom. So we have all the records collapse into one. So let's go ahead and consume this data in Excel. So come to the Home tab and in the Close group, click on Close and Load Tool. And then that closes the Power Query Editor. And we have this Import Data. So we are fine with Table. And I want to dump this in my existing worksheet. So I click on this and we are fine with Cell A1. Then I click OK. So we see the tax pane, the queries and connection tax pane to the right of our screen and we have the data ready. This is amazing. Let's just play around and see how to use this. Now we have this icon to show cards. So when I click on that, it's going to show me all the information. We have the name, Adrian Shami, you know, date, sales manager, state, and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's see. I want to return all the items for all these. You know, sales manager. All I need to do is just click on this extract items to read, and that creates a column. Okay, can you see we have all this ready? And of course, we also have this add a column. So click on this add a column, and then you select any of the column you want to add. Let's say one add for the units. So you can actually see the number of units of the items, and let's say I want to add them. Um, um, let's say states so you can see the states this is absolutely cool now again we can even use the name of the um the title so let's just say i want to i want to return for customer type what i need to do is to begin to type customer type so can you see that this is absolutely you know sensitive so when i deploy enter it automatically fills out the customer type which is absolutely awesome and let's do one more. I think I love this. Let's return the total. So I select the total with my tab key. Amazing. So we have everything ready. And in fact, I can even use the formula. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to put this on equal sign. Let's see. I want to select 
this and enter OK. So we have this ready. So this is essentially how to use the new Power Query data types. It allows you to do so much more. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give some likes. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment. Thank you and bye for now.